let's just touch on the international focus. And the reason why this is important is that um, it's essential that the EU avoids accusations of having double standards. Um, and this comes down to, uh, if you like, the way that the EU is critical of those uh, autocrats governments around the world that threaten press freedom. And what we see is that, and this is linked more generally to the EU's human rights policy, but it is important to say that the, the EU is, is more critical of some countries than it is over others. This is often, if we're going to be suspicious, um, you know, we, we can see that the EU does have geopolitical and trade interests that underpin its bilateral relations. Um, and this again is, is just sort of tying into this Jekyll and Hyde complex. When we're looking at the protection of journalists, when we're looking at press freedom, it has to be uniform. It has to be the consistent application of those standards. There can't be uh, the, the, the upholding of standards or criticism about a press freedom situation in country A and not in country B. And it's very important that the EU is seen as a global leader. And in order to do that, it has to be consistent in the way that it approaches these problems. 